Life from life, the birth of a daughter, future bride. Sophia, promise to the son who awaited her maturity. Desiring her own promise, dream of her own, not father's, to create of her own self, of her beauty and purity. In her growing naivety, she considered only her beauty, to the father that made her to present her own groom. In her own perfection, she'd create something worthy. Seeded by her vanity, a darkness sprouted in her womb. Though her father knew she strayed, he allowed it. In this way, she will mature and a lesson be true. Just a dream she created, found love in a mirror, gave her light to reflection and her shadow grew. The seed grew, vain and deceitful, a worm of fire. Her father to his son now told the folly of his bride. A shadow profane, though she was trapped in adoration, to a dream her true prince descends, saviour and guide. In her dream a water world made, a garden paradise. Let there be light, he said, she of light obeyed. She saw no shadow in the man, blinded by a dream. Light from dark, water from land, decrees he made. Plants, trees, grass, then life, life to worship him, born of a vanity that being of fire needed praise. But animals without soul could neither love nor abhor, with no awareness to choose they cast an empty gaze. From their likeness then, beings are made of earth, man and woman to master creation as he rules over all. But no light in their eyes could be seen, no awareness, no true life was in them, like snakes they would crawl. Father and his son contemplate her dream, then act, touching his bride with true life, light and love. Off a breath from your life, she tells her shadow, words inspired by a promise sent from above. The breath she offered also was of sun and herself, the being rose aware, seeing in creation a prison, speaking as one, man and woman, to dreamer and shadow, yet naked they were, breath suffused them with wisdom. Sophia you dream, contemplating self without father, creating with impatient youth, but don't comprehend. Shadow yelled about you and aimed, prisoner in vain, you cannot live, cannot die, remain to dream's end. From nothing I made you, from nothing you return, Shadow boasted, I am the only god, none above me. Untrue, my father made all, and his son I will wed, son's image fast over waters for all to see. Your light I will have as a golden fleece to wear, condemning her incensed, the other bout's mask slipped. Below I'll cast you as my adversary to crawl, forked tongued you'll be, just as light and dark split. Fall on Sophia, Satan to him, shadow usurped her light. Arrayed in her tunic of glory, he sat on this throne. Cast her down into nightmare, down into matter, unrecognisable now was he, worm king all alone. Now remembering the flash, he turned to his defences. He made archons, his angels, messengers of his acclaim, to help rule over creation, to be his authorities, principalities of his will to act in his name. With his archons he made a likeness out of matter, out of the image of the sun forever burned in his mind. But all he made would age, decrepit, return to dust, subjects of time and this universe Sophia designed. Made of the earth, he named him Adam to know Yelda about, made him a companion Eve to create children with her. These he made to please him, but awoke as automatons. In bitterness and despair he called out, and came answer. Blow as before, give the breath of life unto them. Hearing command from sun and groom, Yelda about blew. Their golden tunic lost its light breathed into them, betrayed, now clothed in darkness, his hatred grew. Beauty and perfection are the qualities of truth, to truth you have a chance to return if you embrace. But the shadow of being of vanity and passion refused to know true life, to be redeemed to rightful place. His existence he dedicated to keeping his creations, to be held like Sophia he foisted on them deep sleep. For eternity he vowed, where he will rule as king but dust returns to dust, from eternal life he will keep. Vain as he was, he made a throne to sit, then a garden, jealous creature also, it was to be eternal and walled. Adam and Eve then awoke in a cage for them of comfort, to them he said I am God, to be worshipped unequalled. Like a curse in their bellies, they ate to sate hunger, emptiness remained, consuming death as their food. They live drowsy, abstracted, with a fog of the mind, obedient, forgetful, in that false garden seclude. Then a tree was found the elder bowed hadn't planted, though he tried to remove it, it burned his hand. 
He could not destroy it like Sophia, it seemed, or cast by father his judgment as stigma brand. Approach this tree, Adam, now touch it, he commanded. Though it harmed Adam not, it sowed questions and doubt. Why am I here, he asked the one he called his god. Neither touch nor eat, or your death will come about. Sacred eagle descended, a messenger from the father, down to scorched earth to fall on Sophia the misled. Unharmed by the fire and untouched by the snakes, the message from her father the condemned now read. Turning a mirror to her it showed what she had become, this world of fire, this creature of pity and shame. The shadow lover of a dream, all is her, all Sophia, stuck in nightmare between hatred and possessive flame. Make this world a home and habitable for man and woman, they will leave the garden and come here to dwell. With the word they and their children will awaken, in the end even you will live redeemed from this hell. The shards of your shattered soul here will recover, the narrative will repeat, the world will be the stage. You will be the mother to all, both nurturer and covetous, but time is perception only, you will awaken come of age. Beautiful Sophia, adult you'll be, whole and wise, rise up then, rise into the garden, climb up the tree. The tree from your own seed, have them eat its fruit, the tree of wisdom your groom, my son, planted for thee. As the narrative plays on, as time cycles in the world, living shards of your soul will be separated to restore. Life separated from death, rescued until only you remain, you too will be redeemed, in true love united once more. Whispering, a voice only Eve could hear, familiar, like a breeze calling a name, whispered to her ear. Knowing her god's jealousy and wrath gave her worry, bravely she approached the tree and said, I am here. This tree is wisdom, not death, eat and you will not die, know the true self, the fire within that is from me. Even Adam, bodies divided but should be one life, bring Adam, no freedom and truth, eat of the tree. Show yourself so I might behold, Eve asks the voice, fork-tongued serpent Sophia, though ashamed, uncurled. By gazing on her, Eve will be cursed, the mother of sin, yet seeing a glamour in her, sought a man of this world. Sophia the banished to a lake of fire, smoke and dust, a nightmare of her unmaking and a hell to remain, while her dreamed lover reigns over a false heaven, with Adam and Eve trapped here in a middle plane. Eve then found Adam in his pose, contemplating the truth, since the tree felt more but solid world rebuffed. Come, my mate, she called, but where is there to go? One place, another, all the same, but Eve he would trust. Though the rock comforted and wind soothed, he followed, like a slow dance she led him with her beguilingly. The look in her eyes, different, drew Adam by her will. Together, Adam and Eve went to the forbidden tree.